Home Advisor says it recommends pre-screened contractors so you do not get ripped off. But News 5 Investigates found the company is falling short on its promise to protect consumers. Now the San Francisco District Attorney suing the Colorado-based company for deceptive advertising. Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross in studio tonight with Historic Eric. Home Advisor is supposed to connect you with licensed pros. Instead, some homeowners say the company sends them unlicensed cons who take their money and disappear. Home Advisor conducts criminal and financial background checks on their service professionals. But that's not true, according to San Francisco District Attorney George Gascon. His office is suing Home Advisor for false and misleading television and radio advertisements. Find millions of reviews on top rated pros. Home Advisor, the free way to find and hire the best home pros. The lawsuit claims the ads are likely to deceive consumers and says Home Advisor performs no background checks at all on the employees who will be coming into a consumer's home. The only person who undergoes a background check is the business owner. The company also under fire for sending unlicensed contractors who show up, take your money, and never finish the job. There was damage to the roof, windows, the fence, the garage door, um, just everything was damaged. After a major hailstorm barreled through El Paso County in 2016, Sherry Murray found Dean Martin with Westwinds Contracting. Home Advisor lists his business as screened and approved. If only that were true, News 5 investigates checked with Pikes Peak Regional Building and found Dean Martin is not a licensed contractor. I feel Home Advisors lied to me as a consumer. I feel Dean has lied to me from the get-go and I just feel like I feel like he totally took advantage of me and I feel like he played me. Murray says she paid Martin $16,000 to perform roof and siding work, but he only completed the roof. All this wood here was supposed to be replaced, and look at this. I mean, it looks like a kid did this. She filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau and police. Martin responded by having his attorney threaten legal action and requesting she withdraw her complaint with the Better Business Bureau. Colorado Springs police took Murray's side, and an officer told the contractor's attorney that this was the worst paint job and work he had ever seen in his life. News 5 Investigates has confirmed police have an active criminal investigation into Martin, yet Home Advisor still lists Martin's company as a five-star business with stellar reviews. We couldn't find any of these people that supposedly gave all these great reviews. And it's not just customers who have lost trust in Home Advisor's ability to recommend professionals. There was a lot of dead phone numbers. Some numbers were out of uh, town, out of state, so we didn't know what's going on. Dmitry Lipinski, owner of Storm Group Roofing, signed up with Home Advisor and claims he paid the company $1,800 for leads that ended with no job. It didn't work. The results was horrible. His complaints are echoed in this class action lawsuit filed against Home Advisor, alleging the company participated in fraudulent, deceptive, and misleading practices with the sale of bogus leads and soliciting new members through coercive means, including threatening to post bad reviews if contractors refuse to join Home Advisor. And once you join, Lipinski says it's next to impossible to cancel, something he confronted a Home Advisor representative about at a Home Expo show. We see the Home Advisor booth, and they would call us in, like, hey guys, come in, come in. And we're like, no, we're fine. Then they're like, are you haters? Are you haters? Like, let's talk. And we're like, you ask for it. So we come back and we film the conversation. You called oh, yeah. that you want to cancel? Mm -hmm. Did you, tell you, you guys would not cancel. You won't cancel, yeah, you won't do it. Well, you know how many times and how many people try to cancel Home Advisor and tell them, hey, cancel, and you guys put it on pause for, instead of canceling, yeah. and then six months later you resume it? You would not go away. Once you sign up with Home Advisor, you would not go away. In addition to his roofing business, Lipinski also dedicates his time making YouTube videos about his experience with Home Advisor. Would you pay somebody $127 for the information that nobody knows is, is ex exists or anything? So you guys, you guys giving me phone number, say, hey, this customer needs something. I call him 20 times, and first time within two minutes after you give me a number, you charge me $127. I'm telling you, hey, I, I don't want to pay it. It's not fair. And well, you would not refund one it. One thing I will say is, you know, you, it's not guaranteedjobs.com. 
you know, you do pay whether or not you get the job, and your sales rep should have made that very, very clear. I get it. Investment. You'll charge if the It's not an investment, it's rip off. After this YouTube video was uploaded, Home Advisor offered to refund Lipinski $1,000, but only if he took down the video. It's a bribing, it's a... I mean, you're buying my freedom of speech pretty much. Lipinski said no. And if there's any doubt about Home Advisor's desperation to get contractors to sign up. To this day, they still call me. That's the most messed up part. They still call me to sign up. And this isn't the first time Home Advisor has been under scrutiny. You may remember this man, Joe Pacheco. We exposed him as a fraud last year. He too was a recommended Home Advisor contractor, but his listing was removed following our series of investigations. Now, Home Advisor will not comment on either lawsuit it's facing, but did tell us in a statement that it has placed Dean Martin's company with Westwind's contracting on hold while they conduct more research on this case. And Robin Elizabeth, I know a lot of people want to know, well, if we cannot trust Home Advisor, mm -hmm. who can we turn to to find a licensed contractor? The simple answer is check with your regional building office. They can not only tell you if that contractor is licensed, but whether or not they pulled proper permits. Mm. Great information. Yeah.